This is my topic, variety of exchange and character money. <coughs> and the, um, simple, my idea is quite simple. And um, money should be, must be a means of exchange. But if exchange, it has a variety. So money also has variety or some um, characteristics. This is quite simple idea. But before that, I should the define the scope of exchange. I am really appreciated your papers, and it makes me realize the necessary to define what the exchange, the scope of exchange, because exchange, a give and take. I give some, uh, something to the patrolists, and the patrolists they give, uh, they give back and anything or simultaneously or with time, time the interval. And but the exchange, but this is measurable unit. And, but if this is the, uh, just a part of, uh, sorry, anyway, the, uh, this is exchange. It, it, it's done according to a unit of account. The, they call it the monetary unit. But the monetary unit is a, just a part of unit of calculation in human activities. The, for example, I, for example any, suppose many uh, very authoritarian states distribute everything necessary. But they distribute according to a unit. In that case, people do not exchange. but distributed and the people leave depending on the distribution. In that case, anyway, unit of calculation working. And uh, even the any oligarchy, the monopolize the trade, it often happens such as um, the, the plantation economy, the peasant produce, but uh, they have no choice other than they selling to the shop, the oligarchy, or plantation owner, learning. In that case, no choice, and they purchase what they need. And in this case, the um, proportion rate of exchange, the monopolizing shop set is working, and this unit is quite important. And it appears to be it's, it's a monetary unit, but um, it's the, the peasant has no freedom to choose. So anyway, the um, monetary unit is just a, a part of the unit of calculation. This is one side of boundary. But another side of bound, boundary is, and it is give and take. But the give and take, so it's a measurable give and take. But some give and take don't require to be measurable. Rather, they try to be unmeasurable, such a case of the gift. Of course, most of gifts we are actually calculate, but um, in principle, we should not declare this gift, this gift equivalent to $10,000. It's not the case. So, so there are the two boundaries. One boundary is the um, give and take, measurable, unmeasurable, and unit, of, unit, of, unit. but um, it is the monetary unit or non-monetary unit, unit of calculation. So I specify the exchange, the measurable give and take, and the, the, the pass from the engaging in exchange the, the, this activity has some choice. And so this is the exchange. <coughs> and the, ex the exchange, the create money, and, and this is <coughs> the, the, the assumption. The Aristotle, the, the, um, the, 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 the subject, and um, it's quite, why people make exchange? Because their possession is different, or their vocation is different. That is why they need exchange. It's quite logical. So that's why they 
uh, doctor and peasant need exchange. No exchange between doctor and no exchange. Well, I thought I did not know, right? <laughs> the, but no, the peasant, the exchange exists. And this the framework the dominated the following thinkers. Um, but this is logic, this is lo logic. And it's, it's quite <coughs> the persuasive division of labor, difference of vocation, different possession cause us to exchange. But actually, even everybody produce same thing or the similar vocation, but exchange can happen. And more simply, not depending on difference of vocation or the item in possession, but even we produce almost similar set of item, but even so, if shortage and the affluence has some different degree, and it is necessary to take, for example, grain, exchange can happen. And, <coughs> and that's why, the many investigations are in 20th century or late 19th century, especially what I depend on the Japanese investigation in, in, in China. They found, and this is the Chinese investigation, that the peasants made exchange with rural area and the, oh, thank you. And the, the, the exchange peasants made within their district in which most peasants, most people produce almost similar things is larger part than they exchange with uh, the outside. So the rural exchange between peasants, they appear to be not small. And so, if exchange in between the, the peasant is um, important, the, the, any, the, the, what, is the, what is the point? Um, this part is a very important. In spite of that, the scholars pay less attention because the, if we consider amount, amount of exchange. This part always occupies the large part. But if we pay attention to the frequency people make, large part is made with this. Um, uh, this is um, just, just um, the st statistics. If, if we pay the, the amount, if, for, this is um, the uh, statistics in USA, late, late 19th century, uh, 19th century and the early 20th century. Uh, the, the situation moved to the, the gold standard system and the issuance of gold and more, it's more, it's a certificates or silver certificate. Paper money increased seriously. And the amount which the basically occupied by gold and its certificate. And the subsidiary coin, less than one, one dollar, increased, but uh, the proportion become small. And that is why you know, if the, the scholars think about the multi, multi function, they <coughs> pay attention to this part. It sounds logical, but the even small amount, this is the part exactly the same period the, um, the Vivian Tarita described under this situation. People, most people depend on this subsidiary coins, but the, the people, earmark, subsidiary coin, this is for food, this is for clothes, this is for education. So for ordinary people, this part is very important. And so anyway, 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 if we pay attention, 
this. The presence of local exchange means we cannot make our, our life without any exchange beyond the local. So exchange, the importance of exchange between local means it's also the presence of interregional inter exchange. And, and of course, it, it happened to every occasion, even exchange in interregional the, the, between distant cities, the difference between a named exchange and the anonymous exchange, the difference always exists, but especially the, the opponent who make exchange are living next door. So this preference, we won't make exchange anonymously, what we, we won't exchange subsequently. This is a, the preference of we want the certainty with subsequent transaction with the same person. <laughs> if we, I, I tried always to make transaction with the, the, the Craig because we trust each other. But so in this case, we can have some certainty for next transaction. But I lose, I lose the opportunity to to make transaction with more favorite condition with the Georgina or William. And so, so if I want to keep this, the flexibility, the freedom, in that case, I should make the transaction just one time. And currency, it's quite good to make transaction just one, one time. So to desire exist, try to keep transaction exchange, the um, the got certain, and or this, or the, to try to keep the transaction for next is the freedom. So the freedom or certainty, it's the appeared to I want to make transaction with currency or I want transaction just a credit debt named relationships particular of the person. And particularly, this the local transaction to make clear this difference. And so, so there is the uh, there are the, the, the two the, the binary, distant or local, uh, or the name or anonymous, or the certainty <laughs> of freedom. And the, the, this, why this part becomes so distinct from the distant trade? So there are many reasons, but um, one reason is as a, depending on agricultural society, the monetary demand has strong seasonality. And the, if currency is necessary, the currency should be provided within this short term. If, if this currency is located the near end user, it probably is, it sounds nice, but that means rest of the year, the currency almost is sleeping, no, uh, no, no, uh, no action. And uh, from the viewpoint of the merchant, it is quite ridiculous to make the currency sleep the rest, rest of the time. But if you if the merchant moves the currency the, to, to other district within this the slack season, they have to always to try to provide the appropriate amount of currency within short period. It is not so easy. And of course, seasonality appears to be <coughs> different according to society. Uh, uh, sorry, and this was and this was the North China. The peak comes the autumn, but of course, and the, this I take from William. The case of the Java, the the <coughs> peak comes the spring. The, the rice cultivation. 
And this the um, Netherlands the estimates the a supposed the inflow and outflow should be equal. So that this is why they the almost par one thousand and the total one one thousand. And the more interesting is the the monetary in inflow has seasonality, while the consumption less bias, more flat. So if we assume the stream of currency, the inflow has the, the, the larger, larger bias, while outflow, the more flat. But this is, this is uh, I think it's almost assumption rather than the depending on real household the investigation. Um, reality is, <laughs> Even, even in account, income and outcome should be even the same. Even in that case, this actual stream of currency is not a bilateral because <laughs> this is almost the, the law, a, I think the law <laughs> currency easy to distribute, but the difficult to assemble. Especially the, if the societies exchange depend on the spot trade. And this is a, the, I already this show, show this wastage rate. And um, it's in 1968, the before the UK moved move changing their decimal system into the, uh, a, one, the, um, to, to, the um, anyway, they have to. They have to investigate how many small denomination currency actually in, in circulation. If they produce new coins larger than demand, it's the unnecessary cause inflation and the, the vice versa. So that's why they try to, to estimate how many small coins in circulation. But the result is they, they, they found the, the incidentally one out of, uh, sorry, two out of 100 currency failed to return to the bank. They, they counted, uh, they asked the bank rate set a branch, the how much coin the path, the count, and each coin has date, and also the Royal Mint has statistics, how many coin they issued each, day, each year, so they can calculate how Long one year, for example, 1960s issuance, the one pence coin, how long they circulated. And they found two out of 100 coins not returned bank. That means if we, we understand coins acting, acti uh, circulating the, uh, the returned bank, this coin is active in economic time. But if so, just 98 coins still active next year. If you continue this, 33 years later, without no issuance, the 50% of coins become inactive. So the, this, is, this happened to the 1968, the UK, and the same Statistics to be found in USA, 1968 or 9, same. The incidental ratio is same. Two out of 100 coins, the out of circulation with bank banking circuit. And this statistic shows more extent, <coughs> smaller coinage failed to return. In this case, the nearly 4%. So four out of 100 half penny become inactive ne next year. So we can guess this, is, this happened in 1960s, UK and the USA. Most household has bank account. So many money, coins should be returned to the bank. In spite of that, so large coin become inactive. So if people has no bank account, less dependent on own circuit. In that case, far more coins 
So they become inactive. If I if this is the case, two out of hundred, if we assume five out of hundred, so just 12 years, 13 years, circulating coin become half. So if a society depends on currency, keeping the same the level of the size of transaction, they continue to issue new currencies. And, and this, this also proves, and so this, this is a different table of what I, of what I put in my, my paper. And this is the 1870s, the Ahold in Ch China. The China depends on small generation currencies. And it's a, most of currencies are the, the mid-18th century. So already 100 years has passed. So the coins once issued remain near end of the user or local proximity ex exchange. So it is difficult to the correct assemble up them the on demand. And that is why if currency supply could not be so supplied sufficiently, and the locals depends on currency, the transaction, then locals should make, create new currencies. And well, this is just my, my concept. <coughs> and this is a, the um, upper, upper level market or wholesale market. This is the lower level market or the, the Retail sales and the return to wholesale or upper level. The current, if, if the transaction depends on currency, currency come from out the upper level to the, <coughs> the lower level, but the situation of the circulation is different from this part and this part. And especially the stream is this the high the, the, the sorry sorry the velocity is high, some part of currency inevitably remain here the, or not succeed in getting the return streams. And that is why the society depends on currencies, often make this kind of multiple the structure. I already use this. In this case, the each local makes some use local currency, cross, copper coins, and so on, et cetera. At the top, they sometimes export coffee or high to Europe and United States. So they need exchange internationally. In that case, they are the trade, I'm sorry, um, the trade, um, sorry, trade was made in, the, in, in terms of the pound sterling or its compatible rupee, but the transaction, this level and this level, quite different characters. That's why sometimes often the intermediary the device is necessary. In this case, Maria Teresa Daras, the buffering the, the upper level and lower level, and also they bring long circuit and connecting the distant trade. And that is why it's quite difficult any, any rulers to, to delete the, the, the Maria Teresa Daras. Yeah, and this is the case. So, each trade circuit tend to keep their own money because they often, otherwise they often suffer, suffer from shortage of currency. And this is the case of the, the China. So quite typically appeared, the, there are many currency circulating, but the currency circulating in some division of labor, this currency for this, this currency for this, this currency would this, 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 this. And merchant, mainly, large merchant mainly use this, Guru in. But um, this is 
an imaginary money. It, term, it's the, it's a um, index made in terms of silver, but actually nothing circulating representing mm. this. And so this kind of the currency circuit. <coughs> so currency circuit quite ubiquitous the, until early 20th century. But uh, I think this is the this result from three the combination of three conditions. At least some trader make cluster. Otherwise, they cannot share a, a currency. And basically, they are depending on spot transaction. And they have difficulty to flexibly provide currency. In that case, currency circuit is made. And in this case, and they appear, there are many currencies. In this case, for merchants dominating this city, it's not a good idea. They depend on particular currency. If they depend on particular currency, the trade circuit becomes the dominant. So in order to make their transaction neutralized, make imaginary currency is one way. And this is quite also ubiquitous phenomena. This, uh, the, in Chinese case, silver lian, tile, each town possess each tile. It sounds silver, but actually not the, the representing real silver. It's quite imaginary. And this is not isolated case. For example, the same period, Ottoman Empire. The, they say the Gush, I don't know, I cannot pronounce Gush, 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 It should be piastol, but uh, no piastol circulating. And their exchange ratio against gold, the Ottoman Empire is going to the, the gold standard, the, the, but the, the exchange ratio between gold, the, the which Ottoman Empire was imposed, and the local unit of account differ towns by town. And no silver, no piastol in circulation. It's quite similar to the Chinese system. And with, under this system, how merchants make business? <coughs> um, I just, I'm sorry, this is just Chinese, because I'm, anyway, <laughs> it's it, it necessary for you to, to read, because it's just a simple, simple problem. Uh, this is an account book of the uh, Chinese grocery store around the 1820, uh, 30 or 40. And the, there, there are many account books, but this account book record all transactions the merchant did. And this side, something in, in. and this side, the art, the harder to say modern concept of reliability, etc. Et anyway, something already come and they, they get out. So this is an old transaction one day. And and this should be um, the uh, silver. They get silver from this merchant and this merchant. And the same amount they pay this merchant, this merchant. But others, for example, this something, perhaps I think the, the purchase, and, and the, this same amount appear to different merchant, and, and this is another. The right hand side and the, the, the left hand side, they occupy the same amount. This suggests that depending on my research with other, other Chinese account, they transfer bookkeeping. The merchant in the, this, this town, perhaps 24, 25, large merchant, the share, bookkeeping system. So if someone purchases the something and they, they sell, sell something, they try to make the amount the same and avoid using currency. Only they need, for example, many case, this kind of the income of silver with 
march and from outside. In that case, they cannot use the, the, the clearance through the book, bookkeeping. But almost 70% of transactions, this is just one day, but all the year, almost the same. In each one day, they try to make this clearance. So they did not use currency at all. I think the, this kind of the imaginary ma money depends on such a merchant sharing bookkeeping. And they need unit of account special, only, only available within them. The important is, we cannot call it credit. No, yes, not using currency, but this is rather clearance, the dominant system, because apparently the merchant, Chinese merchant, try, tend to avoid the keep balance next day, try to within one day, they settle everything. Even they, they fail to do, they try to do within three days or five days. So this is quite clearance dominant system. And another point, point is, um, sorry, can I have five minutes? Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. If <laughs> currency circuits coexist, that means, for example, the, the, the combination of silver and the copper has different exchange rate, one place and another place. Even within city, different vocation has a different exchange rate. But if so, why it can last? Why it can continue? If merchants have enough information, why don't make arbitrage? If copper is appreciate another place is low, why don't they bring the copper to another place? Why? Of course, one explanation is oh, transportation cost. The copper is very bulky. Yes, it is true to some extent, but the fact is always the difference more than such a transportation cost. So, but it, it's quite simple. If we just pay attention to silver and copper, if different exchange rates exist, it sounds, sounds strange, but all, all transactions based on spot trade and copper transactions from the cotton producer, the the depends on copper supplies and silver maybe another the the, the <laughs> like opium was also the spot trade. If profit merchant can make with cotton trade is larger than profit from the arbitrage between silver and cotton for merchant for cotton there is no reason to they send the copper to another place. They should keep copper for next harvest. And it's the, 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 the same. So this is a result of the trade depends on spot trade and the difficult to provide to the instantly. So this is not so strange. And <laughs> sorry, sorry. And so is there any benefit with this system? Yes, at least. This is um, <coughs> the um, price movement of soybeans. I can show the same movement by in rice, but uh, there is one year lag, so I show soybean rice in a town who make trade copper coins. But if they make trade with outside, they should use silver. And this period, the, uh, uh, one half, half, the half of the 19th century, is very known to Chinese historian. Silver appreciate, copper coins depreciate, because the opium trade makes China suffer for trade deficit. So exchange rate between copper and the silver become very in favor speedily. In spite of that, price movement in local currency, quite stable. And 
of course, the situation is different. For example, uh, this is West Africa, the Manila. And the brace, the brass bracelet, it's circulated as a local currency. Actually, it's the minted by the um, Birmingham, but not. But uh, the local people use this for their local transaction. And the oil palm is main export. And the company, British or, or French, must, to, must the provide the Manila to, to the palm oil producer. And this is the same. The, this is the Liverpool um, palm oil price. It's the, the fluctuated seriously. But in spite of the, in terms of Manila, in Lagos, more stable. So basically, this kind of the multiple situation gives the um, local the, the producer a haven for against fluctuating outside the market. So this is a, a merit. But of course, <coughs> a, this kind of system now almost disappear. And another solution against the shortage of currency is, now of course, you can use credit. And it is especially if the community or merchant the society and make some cohesive relationship, you can avoid using currency. So there are two distinct the, the, the contrast. The society depends on mutual credit, less dependent on the round market, while this is dependent on currency, but prefer freedom to make, make transaction. So, so there are, of course, many societies, all societies have some credit system, but uh, some societies may happen to make the debt nexus the organized. Uh, for example, the 19th century Japan, before major restoration, before westernization, their, the merchant assets heavily dependent on not currency, even not commodity, their assets heavily depend on credit, draft to other merchants. And the drafts often discounted by merchants in central town. And between Japan and China, there are many similarities, but if I may say, the commercialization among ordinary people or pretty Pez, uh, pretty merchant, China become more commercialized, while Japanese present less opportunity to access merchant and uh, the market. So um, this is um, the, I don't know, we, I can call it assets, but anyway, the, our country bank in around 8040 possess this kind of uh, assets. And we can easily understand the silver, uh, the, Currency is very, <laughs> the hard currency is very sh short, s small proportion. And compositions notes are basically country banks issuing notes. So local, local country banks, banks note. And no, maybe not surprising for the, the Craig, farmers want to make ex the exchange pretty far. Country bank notes rather than gold or the, the Bank of England notes. That's why they keep this large proportion. But what is London note means note issued by the, the bank in London, and the large bank is Bank of England notes. Important is there are many, but basically Bank of England note and the country bank notes perfectly compatible, compatible. So it's not you no know, evolution depending on development of commercialization, but some factor, a limitance, public or private, and the degree of freedom, the local, some, some locals cannot uh, freely access market, etc., etc. So for pro pro exchange, 
degree of freedom affect, and this and exchange, remittance system, including taxation, etc., really affect. So this combination sometimes makes some society to have cement opportunity, to cement currency circuit. It happened in England and to less extent to Japan before industrialization. So anyway, so <coughs> now I'm going to conclude. Now the, the monetary history across the world they suggest us on the 3D um, trinity of three functions is illusion. One function and another function is not supported each other, it's often in contradiction. And any teleology is ab not availab uh, available, such as the imperfect money to perfect money, or the money becomes deteriorized, the, the, the metal coins, the paper money, and the electric money. It's quite con uh, against the real fact. And the market itself, as I suggest, especially before industrialization, uh, upper level market and lower level market should be disaggregated. So, <coughs> what I observe through global mental history, eventually um, money is a search connecting person, the exchange. But the point is, the person should have some liberty, the freedom. So institution run the degrees, to what extent each person has freedom to choose. And another is, to what extent they make the anonym, an anonymous relationship or named relationship. And that is why the money is the always reflect the social relationship. And anyway, so, I try to describe with this four quadrum how transformed the after 14th century to uh, the, uh, the 1930s. And now that is what I'm now doing in, in Paris, try to make a, a volume in English, but uh, not yet, <laughs> not yet, but the, this conference the, the strongly helped me. Thank you very much.